So in the last couple of months, I've been asked how I do my recording. So I thought I just will make a little podcast, a little video on how I do this. In this case, I'm going to be using my violin, uh, which is this, is a uh, Yamaha, it's an electric violin. Uh, it's also called a silent violin. I have it plugged into this mixer. The mixer is going to a Scarlet. Um, box and from the Scarlet, I'm going directly into Audition. So I'm using Adobe Audition to record these. And I already have my tracks here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the metronome and I'm going to record the voices one by one. And for this particular one, I'm using a piano score. So I'm going to open the metronome here and now I'm going to go to the score. And I have a beat of 120, so 120 quarter notes per minute. So I'm going to set that time in Audition, and it's almost there, so 120. And what I usually do is that I wait four measures, and then I start playing. So here we go. The, the Scarlet is going to be my source, and I'm actually going to do that to all of them. I'm not going to go very lengthy here, but at least a little bit so that you guys see what the process is. So now I'm going to make sure that I can go in between my score, which is right here. Hark, the herald angels sing. And we are at Christmas, so might as well. And uh, audition. I'm going to enable the track to be recorded by clicking on this little icon here. And now I'm going to start recording. Three, four. I'm going to end it there, which is roughly half the piece. Now I'm going to go here and I'm just going to save this. So Control S because I'm on a Windows. I'm using my Dell to record this. And now I'm just going to double click it so that it opens in single mode. I'm going to just mute all of this. So I'm going to reduce this. And now I'm just going to listen to it. Information is pretty good, but it's not perfect, so I'm going to fix that. I know this is cheating, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm just going to go to Effects, Time and Pitch, Automatic Pitch Correction, and we are on a key of F major, that is one flat, and I'm going to apply. There you go, and now information should be perfect. I know, it's cheating, but hey, I'm using technology. And here we go. I'm going to go back to the multi-track. In fact, I'm going to save everything. And here we go. I'm going to disable this one, and I'm going to enable the next track. And I want to listen to it as it plays as well. So here we go. Two, three, four.
back into Audition. I'll disable the track, double click it, and I'm going to do a zoom to fit. And same thing here, I'm going to mute all of this, so reduce this to zero, and I'm going to listen to it. And same thing, the intonation is pretty good, but not perfect, so let's cheat again. Automatic pitch correction, we are in F, and there you go. And, you know, sometimes this introduces artifacts. So I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to show you this artifact here. Let me just play it so you can hear. And, you know, let me do this I for in and O for out here. And it's already looping. And you can certainly see it. So I'm going to select this here in the spectral view of Audition. And now I'm going to do an auto heal. So just so that you know, an auto heal selection is control U. On the Mac, it would be command U. So all I'm going to do is just do an auto heal here. And, you know, sometimes it helps if I just do it a couple of times. And I think that's it. Let me just play that. Yeah, and that's pretty good. I'm going to save it. Let me see if there's any others. I see one here very faint but i'm gonna heal it as well and i accidentally grabbed the little divider thing so here we go let's just fix it and there you go i'm gonna zoom out to zoom out i'm just pressing the minus key and here we go let's, let's play. play perfect i'm gonna save it and now i'm going to go back now, yes, I was using a metronome, and in many cases, there is a delay. So even with a metronome, I am not entirely sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. So visually, I'm going to align these two voices. Yeah, I can mute the metronome. I don't need it. sounds a little weird. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm going to razor this here and now I'm just going to move it forward a tad so that they agree a little bit better. That's better. So you see here, there's a mistake here. I'm supposed to hit a B flat there. So I for in, O for out. So this is supposed to be right. And I'm not quite doing it correctly. Right? So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to enable this track. I'm going to do it in a different track and I'm going to start here, but it's only going to record where it is right now. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit more back just so that I can put my violin back up. And now I can stop and I can simply do an alt up arrow and now I have replaced that. And uh, the autocorrect did something very weird here as well. So I think I'm uh, not the autocorrect, the auto pitch shifter. So the yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing from here and I'm going to enable this again and again I think I'm going to go back a little bit more. Here we go. Oh. 
Let me enable the track. And let's go this. Right. So now I can simply, again, go Alt, Up Arrow. I'm going to clear the selection and that should have fixed it. And that's how I record multi-tracks. I'm not going to do the other voices, but um, here's the finished piece. Enjoy it.